and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is Candace and today we are doing my Halloween party prep for 2021 this is one of my favorite videos to make for you guys we do have a Halloween party annually every year um, probably for the past five or six years now so it's really fun it's a fun event that I sh I throw for our family and friends we have a lot of activities for the kids tons of candies and food and stuff like that so I'd like to kind of share with you guys some of the things that I do in case you're having a Halloween party and you need some ideas, uh, some activities and stuff that you can have at your party as well. So you guys, I had to put my witch's hat on. Like, come on. So cute. Oh, I would wear this all year. I love it. Okay. Um, stay focused. Sorry. So today I'm going to share with you, I have a haul. So a haul of all the items that I use, some of the items that I use for the party that I got new this year, um, that will be from the 99 cent store, Target and Walmart. So that'll be coming up right after this intro. So stay tuned for that. If you want to skip the haul and you're just here to kind of see the setup and some ideas, um, I'll give you a timestamp of when that stuff starts in the video. Um, but I'm really excited to share that with you. So I'm going to share with you, I do like a candy table every year. So I'll show you how I set that up, how I decorate it, a craft table for the kids. Um, I'll show you kind of the layout of the food area. We use the island, so it's all spread out on the island, but I have some decor that I use that's really fun for the kitchen and for the food area. So I'll show that, I'll show you all that as well. Um, during our Halloween parties, we do a lot of activities. Like one year we had a magician. So I always try to have like some kind of something for the kids to do. I think this year we're going to do like a big blow up slide outside that they can play on. And then of course the craft table. Um, I like to have little things for them to do that way. If the parents are kind of relaxing, wanting to sit and chill and the kids need some entertainment, they have plenty to do while they're here at the party. So I'm so excited to share all these ideas with you. Make sure you hit that thumbs up make sure you're subscribed to my channel and let's get into this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the Halloween haul. So I have multiple stores here. Um, we have a little bit from the 99 cent only store, a little bit from Walmart and Target and like one thing from Amazon that I'm going to share with you guys. So I'm just going to get right into it because as you can see, we've got quite a bit of stuff to get through. So we're going to start over here at the 99 cent only store. So I haven't been there in so long and you guys, they had such fun stuff now not everything is 99 cent only when i went some stuff that was like 4.99 2.99 the majority was 99 cent only but don't let the name fool you so um some things that i got from there are these fun little backdrops so this is like a brick a gray brick it's kind of like a spooky little brick wall that you, i'm gonna put over the candy um table that i'm gonna make it just kind of gives it this spooky little decor in the background and then I also found this door cover which I thought was really cute let me try to get the glare off there there we go um but it's a Halloween door cover it glows in the dark and look how cute it is so I'll probably put this over the office door just to kind of hide that room in there just because it's kind of a catch-all and a mess it's usually where I store like the bins and stuff that I'm going to put everything away on so I'm going to try this out on that door but it looks really fun so I got this these were 99 cents, um, these fun little glow creatures. So this is the spider ones, and these are the centipedes, are they centipedes or millipedes? I don't know, but um, super creepy. They glow in the dark. I'll probably put these just around, maybe on the candy table or where we have um, the food set up. I know it sounds creepy, but they glow in the dark and they're super fun. So those will be cute. I found these little skull shot glasses. They have them in silver, white, and I believe there were black ones or purple ones too. These were 99 cents, I believe, and it comes with three, and they're just plastic. Perfect for your party guests, though, if you don't want to, like, use a bunch of glass stuff. And then these fun little wine glasses or drink holders. They have the skeleton hands. And then I ended up finding this balloon kit. It says, Happy Halloween. It has the bat and a bunch of little balloons. I actually have some helium left over from my kid's birthday. So hopefully if there's enough in there that I can blow these up with it. But it was really cute. This was $5.99. Now these were from Amazon. It was just a set of spiders. They're actually, they came with actually three big spiders. Um, and I put them outside. But it's just some faux spider webs, some little, a bunch of fake little spiders and then these two big spider webs over here so i'll put those somewhere in the house just for extra decor for the party to make it nice and spooky so now we're moving on to walmart these no i'm sorry these are target dollar spots 
They may have these again. I've had these since last year. I hope they still work. They're a dollar. They're just some glow sticks in orange and purple. So I'll put those on the craft table or the candy table for the kids. Um, I like, I have a ton of candy at our parties, but I also like to have items that are non-candy because not all kids can eat candy. Um, so I definitely always try to keep some fun stuff for the kids who aren't able to eat candy or if they have like a diabetes or anything like that. So, um, these are some items that I found. These were at Walmart, 98 cents, Halloween sticky stuff. They're those little creatures on a string that stick to everything. They look really fun. So I got two packs of those. I came with six each. Oh, I got three packs of those. So those are fun. And then these fun little stretchy skeletons. It comes with 12 and they're all different colors and you can stretch them and pull them and they were only a dollar. Um, these I found last year at the end of the season and they were $5. I may have found these two years ago, but I didn't put them out last year. So this year I'm going to put them, we're going to have a craft table so that the kids want to do some crafts throughout the night. They can, um, these are just, they were $5 on sale. I love a good sale. Um, but they're just hanging little Halloween ornaments. How cute is that? And you can color them or paint them. We are going to use paint markers. I'll show you those in just a little bit. But I got two sets of those. So those were a fun find from Walmart. Always check that clearance aisle after the holiday and get stuff for next year. These are the cauldrons that I made my kids Halloween baskets out of this year. I'm going to use them for the candy table so they will hold candy or they may hold this fun little mist maker that I found at Walmart. So you put it in a bowl with a little bit of water and it mists. So this will be fun to try. I may do this and maybe have it in the middle where all the food is and kind of have it misting or somewhere fun. I don't know. We'll see. We'll play around with it and see what works. So now we're moving on to Target. I got the majority of the stuff from Target to make our Halloween charcuterie board, um, the craft table, the candy. So let's just get into it. So for our charcuterie board, I'll just go through and show you. We're going to do a mix of can sweet and salty. That's how I love to do my charcuterie boards. But this is more of like a snacky one. We're not going to have any of the meats and the pepperonis and the cheeses. Um, mostly just little snackies. So we got some cashews, whole cashews, lightly salted. Um, these are really for decor unless someone enjoys them and they can eat them. <laughs> I don't like them, but they're really cute to have on your charcuterie board. Like, look at that face. Come on. So I got two of these. There's three each. So there'll be six little peat pumpkins that I can decorate the board with. Um, these are for the candy table. So I got two packs of each of these. And this is the design for this one. It just says boo. And this has a cute little spider lady on it. Look at her. Come on. Um, these are from Target. I believe they were three dollars a piece and I believe they come with three so those are for the kids that can fill up their candy bag save it for the night before they go home kind of like their takeaway gifts and um, then anything from the craft table that they make they can take home so these and I also end up getting some more of these I share these on my Instagram at the beginning of the month I'll share my Instagram um, name on here somewhere on the screen so you can follow me there because I share some fun stuff over there too as the kids are using it but they really liked these so I went ahead and got two more of these. It comes with four little wooden um, figures and you can paint them. But for the party, it's different if it's just my kids and me, we can paint whatever. But for the party, we're going to end up using these paint markers from the Mondo Llama brand. Um, it's just a little easier. So you don't have to have the water and the paints and the paintbrush. You know what I mean? Like, They'll still have fun making it, and maybe I'll have like some glitter pens or something. Also, I have some of these that are in glitter that I bought for school, for my kids' school project, so I'll have those out too. But it's just a little easier, so you can do the paint marker on this or on this. So instead of having to deal with paintbrushes and water and mess and spill, this is just a lot more fun. They can do it quickly, decorate however they want, and take it home with them. So moving down here, I ended up, some last year I actually made these um, by scratch. This year I am just... We have a lot going on with the kids after school activities, so I'm going for the easiest route. These look so cute. I love the color. Um, the pretzel rods from the Hide and Eat brand from Target. These will go on the charcuterie board. These will also go on our charcuterie board, dark chocolate almonds. I like to have a little chocolate in there, a little salty, a little sweet. 
these cookies will also be on our charcuterie board and so will these my son loves these cookies he's obsessed he'll be so excited when he sees them but i like to have um some bigger items to put on your charcuterie board to take up a little more space still fun and cute but um if you have a bunch of little stuff here or there it's going to look super crowded kind of overcrowded so um, some marshmallows. These are great for a charcuterie board because you can fill up any empty space. Just fill in with marshmallows. They're um, white, so they kind of go with whatever theme you're going for. As you can see, we're doing like an orange theme. A little bit of chocolate popped in there. Um, so I got some Oreos to go on the charcuterie board. So I buy them in this kind of pack because I'm not going to use an entire pack of Oreos on my board. And that way I can use like two of these. If I need to refill them, I can. And then if not, my kids can take these to school or have them for snacks throughout the week as well. So if you can buy things like this without having to buy a huge pack um, and you can just use them individually, it makes it a little easier. So I went ahead and got those. So this is not for the party. I'm actually gonna let my kids make these this weekend, but I found them at Target. Let me get closer. Mad Scientist Gelatin Kit. Berry gelatin mixed with decorative candies. It comes with six Petri di dishes that you can make this spooky little jello. It looks so fun. So it makes six. I'm excited to try this with them. We'll probably do it this weekend for a fun little, just something to do and eat and snack on. So I bet they'll like that. How much was this? I will share prices. I think that was $5. I'll share prices. I'll pop them up on the screen. You'll probably already notice that by now, but I will. Um, so these are for the craft table as well. I believe these were $5, excuse me. Um, they are the Mondo Llama brand. Create your own frame kit. How precious are these? It comes with everything you need, little eyeball stickers, the little foam skeletons, and ghosts. And I got three of these, so that'll be six. Um, that way, in case if someone wants to do a frame, if, that someone doesn't want to do one of these, or if someone wants to do one of these and they don't want to do a frame, or if they want to do this, or if they want to do all three, I don't care. You know what I mean? Live your life. So these are super fun and very easy, no mess. Just stick the stuff on your frame, take it home, put your picture of you and your bestie in it, and YOLO. Okay, and these are just some, oh, these junior mints are going to go on the security, I can't even save it, Shark charcuterie board there it goes um just to give it some more of that dark chocolate in there and also graham crackers and mini chocolate donuts so this is for our candy table and these two these will go on the charcuterie board as well so it's going to be a very large charcuterie board but for the candy table um we're going to have reese's kit kats twix I get a variety of the non-chocolate candies with the lemon heads, nerds, the sour bite fruits, and the sour bright crawlers, and then sour patch and Swedish fish, Rolos that I already got into, delicious. Um, so this will just be a little bit for our candy table. Also, we have cupcakes that are going to be made, so tons of sweets, you guys. It's one day of the year we live. It's going to be so much fun. We have friends and family coming, so super excited so yes I will post um whatever I can link which I believe is just going to be able to do this I mean I can probably find some stuff on Target that I can link for you um so you can use a link down below and then prices for y'all so all right there it is I also wanted to show y'all our Halloween pajamas this year so the whole family got some me my husband and my kiddos and they're just these cute little very simple skeleton PJs. These are from Target. I got them from Target.com. Um, I didn't see any in store, but you may be able to find them at yours. I had to get mine offline. So this is my son's, my daughter's hubbies and me. We'll probably wear them this weekend and do like a fun Halloween movie in the media room, do some snacks, popcorn, and wear our PJs. So super fun. It's a fun little tradition that you can have with your family. It's super simple, but the kids really love it.
so I'm starting the candy table area. So I always start with doing the the backdrop first, um, basically the wall, because once I have the table up there, it's kind of hard to measure where you want everything to make it look even. So I'm just using those 99 cent store um, decorative items to outline this wall and then getting my candy table to set up all the treats. focus on the table itself as you can see I use random items to give this table some height and some dimension and then I just use another black tablecloth over it and kind of keep it wrinkly just to give it some texture I'm also going to add some of those faux spider webs just to make it a look a little more spooky and then start adding the candy and the um, non-candy items candy area this year you guys I kept it very simple I didn't go too crazy um basically I just used this like brick paper from the 99 cent store you can see it y'all it was 99 cents so you're gonna it's not gonna be the sturdiest of paper or wall decor which is fine it's just for a Halloween party it does not have to be perfect this is not the Met Gala we're just having fun and then I just outlined it with the keep out um, streamers I have these three little cardboard skeletons I've had those for many many years they have lasted so many Halloweens and then I ended up adding these fun little spiders that kind of give it like a 3d effect so I just use painters tape when I was hanging up the stuff that's super light I use painter tape on these because they are kind of light as well um, I may on these I use like a like a poster board kind of I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of thick, but it's made to hang posters. It's a little more sturdier because the spiders were a little more heavier. Um, but you can use, if you have, so we have like that eggshell wall, and the, the paint will come off if you use the wrong type of tape or whatever. So just make sure you use the right stuff for your type of paint and your type of wall. So I just use painter's tape. I may have to adjust it and redo it if it starts to fall, um, but as long as it lasts for the party, that's all I care about. Sorry y'all, I have Hocus Pocus going on. Hold on, let me turn that off. Okay, sorry, I had to turn off Hocus Pocus. I always watch it when I decorate. Um, but this is the little candy table that we have set up. So 
because we're gonna have, I mean, it is a lot of candy. Normally I do a lot more, but we're gonna have cupcakes this year and cookies and the charcuterie board, tons of sweets. So I just kept it kind of simple. Um, I have these two like taller clear jars on the side and this is holding like this, like the actual candy candy and not the chocolate. Cause sometimes I feel like you can, if you put the candy candy with the chocolate, one starts to taste like the other. Does that make sense? I don't know if anyone's ever had that happen, but so I keep them separate one here, one here, and then I have the Kit Kats and Twix in one little spider web bowl. I believe I got these from the Dollar Tree one year or the Dollar Spot. I may, hold on, let me see. Well, I'll, I'll look in just a second and try to see where I have got those from. Um, and then the Reese's and the Rollo's over here. And then this I got from the Dollar Tree last year and it lights up. So it's a fun little light up element for the kiddos. Um, I put those glow in the dark creepy crawlies over here. My kids love creepy crawlies, you guys. Like, they're not scared of them. They think they're so cool. So, I figured they would go good over here on the candy table. And then our fun little skeleton guarding our non candy items. These are like our glow sticks, our gummy throwy things. I found these eyeball pink, um, ping pong balls and there was some play-doh left in here from last year so if you like do save your stuff that doesn't get used and you can use it every year eventually it'll all get used you know when the kids make their gift baskets so love doing that but this is what we're doing this year for our little candy table turned out cute i like it Okay, so here is our super sweet, a little bit of salty charcuterie board for our guests for the Halloween party. So basically, I just kind of throw things on here, you guys. There's really no rhyme or reason for me. I don't get too crazy with it. I do have, um, just to add height, I'll have like some little glass bowls. I did use the glass pumpkin and put that autumn mix and a few marshmallows in there just to make it look a little more full. And then basically I just go from one end to another and kind of fill around places. The stuff that is like the looser items, you can definitely use that to fill in empty spots. Um, but we just have some cashews, the Oreos going around the bowl, some marshmallows to fill up space. These are my son's favorite cookies. So I got some over here and some right here. Graham crackers to kind of balance out some of the color. Um, these fun little peep marshmallow pumpkins just for some fun little faces they look really cute and then the spider web cookies and the ghost we got some ritz crackers to kind of bring in more salty these are chocolate donuts um the bag that they came in it wasn't the best so whenever i make this for the party on the actual party day i'll probably use some better donuts i'll have to look maybe a dark chocolate those are a milk chocolate um and then these are those pretzel rods that were from the target hide and eek brand 
And yeah, so this is it. Oh, and then the dark chocolate almonds and the junior mints, just to kind of get those, to kind of break up some of that orange. So I think it turned out really cute. I really like it. The kids love it, all the guests love it. It's just a fun where you can grab and go if you have a sweet tooth or if you want something salty. Super easy and fun. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep Cause I'm not tired I'm thinking about the days we used to shine When we were young I told you that we should start a band And reach for the sky It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep I'm just not tired I can hear the raindrop So just to kind of give you an idea on what we do for the Halloween food. So basically, I just have two runners that I doubled up and to made it go all the way from one end to the other. Over here is where we'll do, we're gonna do chili and Frito pies. So we'll have our chili cooking in the crock pot over here because there's a plug, so it always stays on this side. Um, I keep these over here just for like, to help with the mess, I guess. Like if you spill the chili or whatever, it's fine, I don't really, if it gets on this, it's not a big deal, I'll just wash it. But this kind of helps to kind of save if there's spills or anything like that. And it also helps um, like where you can put, you know, chips and, you know, an appetizer here, chips and a dip, chips and dip, or appetizer here, the cheese and cracker tray, or the fruit tray, whatever. It just kind of like little markers for whatever you're doing. And then I added our little bubbling, Cauldron, I got this from at home a few years ago. I've also seen it in orange, so it's really cute. Look at the dishes back there, I have to do y'all, sorry. Um, but it's really cute, so I thought it would be a fun little centerpiece for our Halloween party. And then, of course, our charcuterie board. Um, but we'll have other desserts over here as well. And then it's kind of just line up and get your food. So, makes it okay, really- Okay, you guys, this is where we're gonna wrap up today's um, Halloween party prep with me. Um, I was gonna share the craft table with you guys, but I cannot find the table literally anywhere. So, I will share that on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my little name on here somewhere so you can search me up and so I can share that with you guys closer to the party. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit that thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you guys on the next one.